Good morning. So just a quick one, as I was chatting to someone this morning, a bit about like kind of goal setting and why there's so much anxiety around it and why, you know, often the, we can become overwhelmed when we have a goal because of the pressure, etc. But what we kind of realized was, and I want to share this because it might just help you stop stopping, like that stop starting, go into effort mode. For example, it's not, it was never the goal. Like say someone says, oh, I want to lose 10 pounds. It's never that they want to lose 10 pounds that overwhelms them, makes them a bit anxious, like feel the pressure, the stress. It's actually just the deadline. So my point is, one, set a realistic goal. Two, shorten the short-term process of it. So what I mean by that is say in three months you want to lose 10 pounds, argument's sake, or two months or one month, whatever it is. Break that down into shorter chunks into 30-day blocks. So now in the next 30 days, what do you need to do? Now break that down into daily tasks. One of the main reasons that people don't get results is that we don't break down what we need to do into what we do today. AKA we don't focus on today and we just kind of cross our fingers and hope that in 30 days, in six months, or the results will be on track. And the problem with that is, is if we don't have a good week or if something doesn't go well, we're kind of like, oh, we're off track. We might as well just give up because we're not going to do it. Whereas actually then what you can do is actually treat it well one week one block's gone what can I do differently this week what have I learned from this week because ultimately small habits have a huge compound effect and I can't stress this enough like week one when you start doing something it might be quite hard week two will be easier than week one week three will be easier than week two week four will be easier than week three and so on and so on so it gets easier the more you do it so just remember that if you're struggling and you keep stop stopping stop starting so break it down and, and just to finish off three things that if you do today will get you closer to where you want to be just write down three things so for me today it was have a power nap which I've already had early start two is to get my exercise in which I'm planning in for 3pm in my garden whilst on daddy daycare and number four is to get to bed by 10pm tonight let me know yours take care speak soon